Another check is uh, guillotine. Just as a, from the perfect position, it's kind of annoying to do actually. So the attack he wants to do is kind of like a, this and those things, or even with the arm, yeah? You do it more, also this is a, like say, com more common attack when you do it from the turtle and then you fall back, yeah? But the idea is that if the neck is open, definitely go, they can grab and it's kind of annoying. But again, everything, all the elbows and stuff, everything is good. I, I do this, so it's, later we, we will talk about grabbing the wrist, but as a position, he's not very comfortable, he needs space. So if he would shrimp a little bit. So this now becomes more like a arm, yeah? And uh, you know, if I turn and becomes more like a guard situation. So, but now he's always separated. So if I'm really, like, if I'm really close to him as it should be, I'm controlling him. It's kind of annoying for him to go for a guillotine. And I don't do this. Yeah? This is, I'm playing with fire. It's a little bit annoying. So I turn in, yeah? And so the guillotine kind of is not that good option. So all those uh, rear naked chokes, the gi, the half Nelson, the guillotine, all those, um, attacks will help you to define the shoulder positions, the hunchback and everything. So those are necessary attack and you need to play with them and you need to lose. So you will understand, you know, all those kind of attacks, they will teach you something different about that position, like angles. And I think even the half Nelson would be the hardest if somebody is really like getting a position, so this will fix everything. So uh, definitely study that, stay there and uh, we will continue now showing you how to uh, other uh, how to keep the position and how other attacks works